today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can draw a tiger like this little guy here. So stick around and I'll be showing you how. Let's go. Okay guys, so let's just jump straight into the video today and see what we can create. First thing we're going to do is start with a basic shape. Usually we have like a circle, this is more going to be like a, kind of like a circle but with triangle edges like that. Like a UFO kind of thing, that would be the base shape. Now we've got that in place. From the center, I'm going to do a curved line coming across. Actually, let's call this a rugby ball shape, like Hey Arnold. So we've got Hey Arnold here, and then the line coming across, just like so. And this just gives me a good indication of where I'm now going to put the eyes. I'm going to have one eye this side and one eye here. Once the eyes are in place, I can then build um, upon that. But even if you do want to do a little dot there, just to get a good size in of the percent of the eyes, that also helps if you ever struggle with eyes being too far or too close together. Okay, so here, I'm just going to do a small circle for now, which I can edit later. And here I'm going to do a smaller circle, and because it's further in the back, instead of just being a round circle, which would make it flat, I'm going to squish it and make it more of an oval. That's a slight difference that makes a huge, uh, huge dimensional shift in the drawing. On this one, I'm going to start closing the eye off. So here I'm going to cut the circle off, this top bit, as you can see, and flick off. And then I'm just going to do the same again, keeping my lines loose as I go. And obviously with my characters, if you want to add, you can add some bags underneath the eyes. And that is just by following the circle around and then just picking up lines. Really rough. I'm keeping it super loose right now. Nothing's committed. Um, I'm just seeing what I can build up and move on from there. Similar with this eye, I'm going to have a wedge. So to, by the wedge, I mean like a rectangle up top. And as it's coming into the eye, what I do is I connect it to the lower part, move your pencil up, and then I'm just going to do it coming over. Always the main key whilst doing this is I'm maintaining super, super loose lines. Um, I'm not, I don't want, you don't want to commit too soon. You just want to put lines in place roughly. And then later on when you darken areas up, you can really take what you want and uh, move from there. Here underneath, I'm going to have a line cutting into the eye as well, just because I want the facial expression, expression to be more scrunched up. So here I'm just going to do like a little wave shape underneath and once again just add more circles around the eye, initial eye, and then start creating some bag effect underneath. From here what I like to do is, even though I'm going to keep it in the final image, is to draw a bridge. So I draw a bridge from eye to eye. But this side, I just fall short. I'm not connecting, I just fall short. That just gives me a good idea of where the nose will start um, and where I can start placing other features. For the nose, from here, I like to take from the center of here, draw another thin line coming down, which will lead me to a nose point. And for the nose, I want to do this C shape, like that, with two little, two little wings. Almost like the, you know when you draw birds in like year four? Same, same principle here. And then I'm just gonna, actually I'll make it easy for you. If you draw, draw a dot and a little triangle, that'll give you a rough sense. But instead of having the points, you wanna round off a little bit. And round off this side, and then bring it back to this initial point you had in place. Like so. And the good thing about the nose is to make it look super effective. Here, I'll just do it now for you, is you can do this other shape, so follow follow this around, like so, and then just shade downwards from that line. If you had spray paint, if you're doing it with acrylic spray paint, um, it's a super cool effect. You can just spray down from there, and you also already got your nose quick and with no hassle at all. Now around the nose, I like to add a few lines. It also gives me a great chance to connect this to the face. So here I'm just going to draw a line coming back like so. Now for the mouth bit, I'm going to do two squares. One of them is connecting here to the middle of the nose and same for the other side here. Almost like the whole thing is going to be this box shape for this. Just like so. And when it comes up, I'm going to add some more lines, a lot of folds in the face. So I'm continuing this by doing these little ticks, 
just like that. And keep building from there. Now with the other center line, I want the heads, so I'm going to follow a line here, but I'm also going to connect it to the base shape we put in. And then just darken out a little bit around. And you should end up with stuff that's starting to come together as you go. Now I'm going to put the, the whiskers in here, you just do some lines, these small little details. And same for the other side. Not putting in loads of detail just yet, I'm gonna leave that for the darkening up area, but we'll get to that in a second. Now for the mouth, I'm gonna bring it around this area, try to end it there. So all I have to do is do a few in and out shapes. So it comes out and comes back in and then folds around here, like so. For this one, I'm gonna put a tooth in, so put a big tooth here. For that, you just want to show a little bit of the gum, so you want to go around again, this shape here. And then I'm going to do the tooth like so. Just these two little ticks coming out the mouth. I'm kind of going to mirror that on the other side here. You ain't going to be able to see it as much as on the further side of the face. But if I just get an indication of the mouth for now, then it gives me a chance to build up from there. Now from here, I'm going to come down and almost just do a few lines loose, so I'll go up, then down, same again, until I end up at the bottom. Just like that. It doesn't have to be super detailed as yet. And from there you can actually pull off a lot of different animals, you don't have to keep it as a tiger, you can go for like a panther, um, a leopard, Cheetah, because you've got or a jaguar even, it is quite like a jaguar. What really makes it like a tiger later on is the markings, which is the cool bit to add, is all the black and orange markings on the head. Here we're just going to add some teeth, so here at the front, there's one, just that's the shape, it's these little ticks, just back and forth. And then two. And with the mouth, I'm going to hit a few more lines around to make it look like it's put, being pulled up with a smile. And now it's time for the ears. For, for this, I'm having the ears almost pinned back a bit, so you want these little rectangles coming up, and then just add the fold at the top. Just like so. So there's one. And then the second one is going to be around this area. So, with that pull around, you want to pull them back in, like so. And then you have something that looks like that. Just a shape for now, there's no detail. Here I put the fold of the inside of the ear. Still keeping it loose, just putting shapes together, like so. And with the head, it usually comes up and it dips and it comes up again and then continues. Just a little bit of extra detail. Where we put that center line in, now is a good place to put a few of the markings in. With this, you can do whatever markings you want. I like to keep the pencil super loose and then just wiggle it down like this. So that like one and then mirror that on the other side. So then just like so. Let the pencil do most of the work, and two, and then there's two little blocks around, but I'll add a lot more detail to that later when I move on um, to the final stage of darkening things up. Now from this side of the head, I'm going to have it coming in and then pull it out, and give it a fur texture, so keep it loose as you go. Bring that in. Now I've got this, this side of the face in, so it's just down, in, down, in, put it towards the mouth. As for the mouth, I'm going to have a bit of the hair, so there's going to be hair down here. Keep the pencil loose, I'm just going to come and make some loose shapes like this, like wispy shapes. Direction wise, I'm not going, I'm just letting the pencil do most of the work, so 
just put it in, out, this way, that way. Obviously it's going to be messy. And continue that following the mouth shape you originally put in place. Just like so. Now it's starting to come together a lot more now. Here in the mouth, I want to show a bit of the gum line. So I'm just following that line again. Once you've got the original in shape, I'm just following that around and add more of those teeth-like shape we did earlier. Maybe one here. It's up to you how many you want to add. Obviously I'm drawing for you guys, but you have your own imagination too. You might think you might want some gold teeth in him, if you like character design. So don't feel afraid to move move away from this sketch and do your own thing, because that's when you start finding your own ideas and then you have something completely original. Okay, just like so, and that's the build up. Now from the ear, we want to create the fur. So here we follow the this shape we initially put down. Comes out. Comes in. Like so. But now you want to give it way more of a fur texture. And to do that, we just come out like so. Just random lines coming out. Maybe some more longer ones. Back to the original shape, and again, back to the original shape. And now this is the basic. This is the basis of the of the head. You can do a second bit to the head, so like this, and that can give you something to build on later. Now it's in place. It's then just time to add the markings. So let's just say on that. The eyebrow bit we put in place. Um, you just want to just make these kind of shapes. So there's a shape there. You can also go with the eye. And number two. Around the eye as well, there's these white patches. So pick a patch number one. So when you colour, it's just going to be, you know, it's just going to be white. And patch number two. Follow down from the center line like we did earlier with the with the black lines. So just for just for indication now, before I go and dark with the dark pencil, I'm just gonna pin a rough line of where I want them to go. Really messy still, nothing's being tidied up. Add your own shapes, you could do some cool tribal patterns, maybe let's just try it over here. It's like you can have let's just a bit of swirl shape, so it's not actually in the would never see in a real tiger, but you can just do what you want and get real creative with it. So there's a swirl there, put another one there. There's white also around the mouth area, so just edge that in by following the lines. And yeah, from here it's just a, it's just playing around with the design until you get to a place um, you're happy with, with your own markings. And if you want to, you can add a few strokes of whiskers from the head. One, two, and one, two. Let's draw about a few of these lines so you can see a little bit clearer. Like so. Let me just show you as well the body in case you wanted to go for the body. Here as always, let's just do a cool sort of cool sort of relaxed pose. So um from the head here, we're gonna have maybe like a hoodie. I'll do a smaller body. And then the hands obviously. So for the hands, I like to I like to draw two rectangles. There's a whole tutorial on hands on my video if you guys want to check it out. So I won't spend too much time on this. If you want a full time tutorial on hands, there's one on the on my channel. Um, just how to draw hands. So there's one tube, two. I'm giving them like human hands here as well. Three. Let's just say the fourth comes in like it's coming down, so it's almost hidden. So 
So one. Just thicken it up a little bit as it's quite small, just realized now. Um, there's one, it comes in from behind. So I draw the hands first. And then this is just a second hand coming over the head a little bit. This one I just draw, draw like he's just randomly think, just random fingers. I won't have doing anything special here. One, two, three. So both hands are roughly in place right now. If you want to draw the paws, you can draw the paws. I'm just going to draw, draw the hands just to keep it um, more like illustrated style. And then we'll just give them like some kind of hoodie. And yeah, you're just looking to build it up. So the arms will come down here. like so, and I do a real graffiti shape so we've like blocked off, so it's almost not that realistic but it's really illustrated. Put the arm coming through here and then we can just do the tail like just coming up the back here. Like so. And give the tail some markings. Maybe give him like a speech bubble. What I put in there yet, I don't know. Um, Just connect it to the hood a little bit. So here I'm just going to do a rough outline of like a like a hood. And that's the that's the rough outline, guys. That's that's uh, that's it. It's kind of cool. It looks like a chess piece or something. Um, if you want to add more things, it means this is your drawing. You can do exactly what you want, you add as much as you want. Um, I think that's kind of cool, and plus, the way his shape is, he kind of looks like a chess piece, so if you were to like, draw a collection like of this, you could have like an elephant, the same sort of uh, stance, elephant, giraffe, and then you could have a whole series in place with the same sort of stuff, but I'm a, I'm a graffiti artist, so I'm, I am trying to explore that crookedness of the body than the head, and you're gonna see a lot more um, like graffiti-esque elements get into place as I darken things out. What I'm gonna do is when I darken it, is I'm actually gonna move the camera around and get in on the bits I'm working on. Head like the eyes and the nose and around the mouth. And that way you get a greater understanding of exactly what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, you at home, grab your dark pencil. And this is where all the rough, this is why I said I'm keeping the lines really rough and sketchy. Is because things will change at this point, depending on where you wanna pit things or add stuff. Um, it's totally up to you. Like even now. Put a crown in. Wanna add that in? You put it in. And yeah guys, I'm gonna time lapse it now and then we'll come speak at the end.
And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you've finished and done everything with a dark pencil, you should end up with something like, <laughs> sorry, something that looks just like this. Um, I'll put the letters behind just so you can get a bit of perspective on what it could look like in a piece. Um, all in all, pretty cool character. What we're gonna try and do is leave the PDF file of this picture in the description. That way, from a closer look and examination, you can take it home and just do your homework and enjoy it. Before I leave, I need to say a massive thank you to all of you who joined today and a huge thank you to all the Patreons. Without you Patreons, I would not be able to bring you this free content. But if you do join, you also get things like prints and stickers, exclusive tutorials and all that good stuff. So yeah, guys, just want to say a massive thank you um, to everyone out there. Hope you've been doing well. Um, keep creating and peace.